You have several options underneath the Format Numbers menu to automatically format your numbers when entering data into Google Sheets. So for example, if I click on this cell where I put a time of 1215, I can click on the drop down arrow and I can choose time right here. It's going to automatically think the seconds were zero and put it as PM. I can choose additional options if I click on the drop down arrow again, come down to the very bottom where it says more formats and then choose more date and time formats. In here you'll see that you have a list of all different options that you can use. Right now you can see I have chosen the one that has hour, minute, second, and AM, PM. Let's say that I'm like, oh, I really don't need the seconds. I can click on these little arrows next to second and I can choose the option to delete. Notice I also have the option to remove the leading zero or to keep the zero there. I do suggest keeping the zero there because when you go to sort times, it actually makes a difference when you have the zero one versus the no leading zero. Try that out sometime and you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the seconds and now I'm going to go ahead and click apply. Now let's look at the date option. So again, I'll come this time to the format menu. Notice it's the same thing we see, number, and I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose more formats and choose more date and time formats. I do suggest sometimes that you might want to come in if you're not sure what you want, maybe you just want to choose this one that has all the information with it. Then what you can do is you can come up here and you can selectively decide how you want it to be. Maybe you decide that you want the days to not be listed this way, but you want an abbreviation. So you see all your different options by choosing everything. Then you can come in and delete the things that you know that you don't need to have. Notice in here that you see that they've added the comma and they've added the word at here. Maybe you would like this to, instead of it being at, you want it to say starting at. So you can come in and even personalize this information up here the way you want it to. So let's go ahead and click apply. And now notice we can't see the entire thing, so we're gonna bring our cursor up here, get those double arrows, left click and drag so we can make this a little bit wider so we can see all our options here. So don't forget that you have those personal options as well. Let's finally look at currency. I'm gonna select this cell and I'm just gonna use the shortcut right here for dollar sign and it converts it to a dollar sign. Now if I come underneath it and let's say I type in $5.50, notice it did not put the dollar sign in front here and that's because I only formatted this cell. So if I wanna format an entire column, I wanna select that entire column by clicking on the C up top then I can come and click on my dollar sign. Now when I go to the next cell and I type in an amount, it automatically is converting it to the dollars for me. So take some time to explore the different formatting options that you have.